I would say my dream Louis Vuitton bag. Like I've always wanted this. Welcome to another luxury purse unboxing here on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Amber Marion. And if you're not new here, then welcome back. I am super excited about today's unboxing. I know I say that in just about every video that I'm so excited. But this particular bag, I am so excited to unbox. I'm so excited that I got it. As you can tell by now, the title of the video, I am going to be unboxing a vintage Louis Vuitton 2009 Steven Sprouse Neverfull and before we get into today's video I need a huge favor please make sure you're hitting that subscribe button as well as turning your post notifications on so every time I upload a new unboxing or review you'll get a little notification and while you're at it you might as well go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I'm always posting what I'm about to unbox what should I unbox things like that in my stories so definitely make sure you're following me on Instagram and let's get right into today's unboxing. I am so excited. So excited. So as you can tell by the title of the video, like I said, I'm going to be unboxing a Neverfull from the 2009 Steven Sprouse Louis Vuitton collaboration collection, whatever you'd like to call it. So this is the bag that I got. This is the GM Neverfull in the orange graffiti color. So I purchased this bag from Rebag. And if you watched my designer wish list video in the beginning of the year, this was actually one of the bags on my wish list. And probably, I would say, my dream Louis Vuitton bag. Like, I've always wanted this. I've always wanted something from this collection in particular. So, yeah, this is kind of like my dream Louis bag. So, I'm going to go ahead and insert some close-ups, as always, of the bag, of the details, of the inside of the bag, everything like that. And then we'll jump back into why I bought the bag, all of that stuff. So, see you in a minute. Let's get into the close-ups of the bag. The GM is the largest of the Louis Vuitton Neverfull family side. Has this really beautiful orange and gray print the same as the outside. So you can see that in there. Like every other Neverfull, it has a hook closure. Something's telling me it probably did come with a wristlet based on just this little detail. But I was talking very highly of how pristine the actual leather was. So if you know anything about just leather bags in general, you know how quick they patina. And sometimes if you have an 11 year old bag, you're gonna see a lot more patina than what this bag has. This is the rebag tag. As you can see, even the side straps are in great condition. On Neverfulls, the handles and the side straps seem to go really quick because of how thin they are they're like super thin but this bag was honestly honestly kept in beyond pristine condition i feel like this is how i keep my bags even the bottom which you would think at some point in 11 years would get some sort of markings on the corners something and when Rebag says pristine condition, 
they mean pristine condition. So now that we got the close-ups out of the way, like I said, I did purchase this bag from Rebag. If you watched my Louis Vuitton collection video, I mentioned that I might want to sell some bags of mine. So I ended up selling my Serene bag to Rebag. And although I didn't take Rebag credit, I ended up just browsing, 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 and I came across this beauty. So one of the biggest selling points for me was that it was listed to be in pristine condition. And honestly, when I received the bag, it's in a lot better condition than I would have thought an 11 year old bag could be. So this was definitely, I, was, I would say like a collector had this bag or somebody who just took really great care of it. As you saw in the close-ups of the bag, the leather is has been very well taken care of the overall bag has been very well taken care of so i did purchase this for about twenty eight hundred dollars on rebag like i said it did come to over three thousand dollars with taxes but like i said for it to have been pristine and for it to have been this pristine and the gm size i definitely feel like that was a very 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 good price Initially, these bags retailed for, I believe, $1,290, $1,300 around there back in 2009 when this collaboration first came about. And I've always, always, always wanted to own a lot of the Steven Sprouse Louis Vuitton collaboration pieces. If you did not know a little bit of history about Steven Sprouse, he originally designed the collection, the graffiti collection in 2001. Marc Jacobs, who is one of my favorite designers, I say it all the time, was the creative director at Louis at the time. And they did the bags with just the white graffiti in 2001. In 2004, unfortunately, Steven Sprouse passed away of cancer. And then in 2009, Mark Jacobs, while he was still creative director at LV, decided to just put a little twist on the collab and make the graffiti colorful. It came in an orange, a green, a neon pink. And then they also went on to do a couple of different Steven Sprouse collaborations. Mark Jacobs went on to release a lot of collections after Steven Sprouse had passed away using just his artwork, like the flower collection, there's an animal print collection. So there's a lot of different Steven Sprouse collaborations with Louis Vuitton. But this just happened to be, I mean, when this came out in 2009, I was like blown away by the neon colors. I thought it was so cool. I still think it's so cool wasn't the only item I picked up from Rebag. I actually did a little bit too much luxury shopping in the past week. So I do have an everything I bought in a week haul coming up shortly. So definitely make sure you're subscribed and turning those post notifications on so you will know when that video is live. But getting back to this beauty, I mean... It's the condition for me because a lot of times when you buy pre-loved bags, it's really hard when the company or the reseller gauges the condition of the bag and it's like pristine, but you're like, wait, it's an 11 year old bag. How pristine could it really be? She is pristine. It does come with the Rebag certification card, basically saying it's authentic, the serial number, and then this QR code, I believe, is like if you were to go somewhere, I guess, to try to sell your bag or something, you just scan the QR code and all this information would come up. Absolutely blown away by the condition of the bag, but I was initially just so happy to be able to get it, this seriously was probably, is probably my dream LV bag. The only bag besides this that I would consider a dream LV bag 
is probably the Cherry Blossom collection. Anything from the Cherry Blossom collection because if you know me, I love Cherry Blossoms. So it definitely is super big. Like I said, it is the GM size and I wanted it to be the GM size. I could have kept trying to find an MM or maybe a Speedy. I do kind of want the neon green Speedy now, but I just felt like for it to be this bold, and I really honestly feel like the Steven Sprouse, all the Steven Sprouse collections are kind of like artwork. So I figured why not get it on the biggest bag and make the biggest statement. I would definitely highly recommend shopping Rebag if you're looking for like exclusive pieces, investment pieces, just better condition items than some of these other resale apps and companies not to take anything from them take anything away from them but i just feel like rebag is very thorough in their authentication process in their condition listing process and i will say it was a super easy process for me to sell them my bag i'm in new jersey they're in new york so it literally got there in one day they authenticated verified it within like another day and then I got paid. So it was super. If you do have a closet full of just high-end pieces that you're no longer wearing or you want to turn them into other pieces, I would highly suggest using Rebag. And they have like a cool little a cool little section. I believe it's called Claire. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. But basically what you do is you just open your camera, take a picture of what you want to sell, and it will match it all of that and it's just such an easy process so i highly highly recommend shopping rebag i think that's about it i think that's all i can really say about this very very beautiful bag 11 years ago <laughs> i wanted it so bad so it's so crazy to finally have it and to have it be in such great condition i don't know I don't know if I would have been as happy if it was not in as great of a condition, but literally the person who sold this to Rebag must have taken extremely great care of this bag. So I'm so excited to wear her. She's perfect for spring, summer with that orange. And orange is really hot this year too, so I'm sure I could piece it and, you know, make it look if you did happen to catch my entire LV collection video, I did mention that there was like a bag or two that I wasn't really crazy about. And at this point, I feel like some of my bags are investment pieces. Others of my bags are just pieces that I'm probably never going to wear but spent more than a pretty penny on. So I might as well turn them into another bag or another piece. So I definitely suggest buying and selling to rebag if you do have anything that you are trying to get rid of but I definitely recommend rebag for purchasing because I feel like as you guys will see in my what I bought in a week luxury haul I purchased another item from rebag which came in ex in extreme pristine condition and it wasn't even listed in that so I definitely feel like the authenticators and the people who take in the items at Rebag pay a lot of attention to to the details in making sure they accurately describe the bag as well as sell very well taken care of and pre-loved bags. I Really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it for you. I definitely think my excitement of how excited I am about this bag showed through the entire video. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure you're leaving a thumbs up. And make sure you're subscribing to my channel and hitting those post notifications because I have another luxury haul coming. I have a bunch of unboxings coming. You don't want to miss it. As always, I will see you guys in the next video.